Welcome to Daily News Update. I'm Petty Officer Kat Smith, and these are your headlines from around the fleet. The Navy has the Brilliant on the Basics program to ensure smooth transitions and proper recognition for all sailors. We talked to Chief of Naval Personnel, Vice Admiral Mark Ferguson, about why he thinks this benefits the Navy. I'm a believer in Brilliant on the Basics. I think it's the cornerstone of good leadership uh, within the fleet and throughout the Navy. Um, there are several key elements to Brilliant on the Basics that I think make us a better Navy when we execute those daily uh, within the fleet. Key elements include a sponsorship program, awards, career development boards, and a strong ombudsman program for the families. The Navy commissioned USS George H.W. Bush January 10th during a ceremony in Norfolk. Master Chief Petty Officer John Port spoke about being the ship's first command master chief. You get to set the tone of a ship. Uh, you only get to do that once, and that's the initial crew. So to be part of that, part of that chief's mess, part of that crew that's setting the tone for everyone that follows us, that's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. CMC Port joins Commanding Officer Kevin O'Flaherty and Executive Officer Captain S. Robert Roth. The Department of Veteran Affairs, along with the Defense and Transportation Department, have launched a new motor vehicle safety program. The Home Safe, Drive Safe, Stay Safe initiative is designed to help reduce the number of motor vehicle accidents among returning veterans. Service members are reminded to use seatbelts, not drink and drive, and wear a helmet when riding motorcycles. For more information, log on to safedriving.va.gov. For the Defense Media Activity Anacostia, I'm Petty Officer Kat Smith.